suppose it's just us. That's all right. We can manage. Yeah. All right. Now I, I made some updates recently. Which, most significantly, I yeah. Most significantly, I changed the um the way the beginning of the track starts instead of it being on a, a road in the middle of kind of um, like high above the track uh the ah. black starting road i i actually um moved that inside the accelerodrome but um so from the very beginning um you can just decide not to do the optional um coast road climb ah, i see that's how it works yeah Okay, I might need to. My bootstrap is really old. I'm gonna send it so I'm constantly boosting here. Alright. Okay, so now the um, uh, intro bits doesn't have an end zone. One second, I'm just changing my controls. Should be it. I have a couple of different control uh, schemes set aside that I use for different things, like uh, whenever I'm um, creating teasers. I'm careful, don't go into the accelerator. Oh, all oh, right, okay. whatever. You, did you already hit the checkpoint? All right, cool, you're good. Um, if you go too far in, the wall closes, um, and then ah. you also hit a checkpoint, so. That's bad. I like that. Oh, but I've never had to play distance with like two hands spread across the keyboard. It's really weird. I know. I usually use a controller, so anytime I have to use a keyboard, it's uh, messes me up. It's a very glowy scene. I want some next level like crab controls with my fingers right now. Oof. You know next level control is playing distance with one hand. I usually do that, but like I got Q for gripping and like M to push talk and some strange stuff happening. Using both sides of your brain. I like that water texture. It's looking nice. I've gotta move the um I've got to move the cube map render because, as you'll see later on, uh, it's not set up properly. Which is ah. why you get that glow on the water. It's because it's near something that's reflective and the specular color is probably a little bit too high. Ah. And so in some of the realms, you just kind of glow a translucent blue for no reason yeah. when you're close to this part of the map. Oh, another thing I did. I moved everything really close together to, uh, the intent was to help with performance, but I, I think I may have just made it worse. We'll have but, to like, let the comments link like, know that. Yeah. Back from, like, the Steam Workshop. They'll either get, like, really angry, like, they'll be like, I don't think we'll get a lot more, uh, playtesting until we, uh, add another realm. Yeah. Because other The cabin realm's really dumb. Yeah, right now it's just like quality of life uh, changes just to make it play better, but uh, after that, we've got to add more features and functionality. Yeah. I still think they should like maybe add a, what's it, a, um, oh, like, a spline where like the size it can be changed to a different color to the track, so it kind of make it easier to do, you know, the style of the hot wheels track. If you know what I mean. It would be nice if um, you could create groups that um, had uh, the same uh, relative positions to each other. Like for example, yeah. you create a group of splines that you can repeat in certain. Uh, I mean, I guess. I suppose as long as you kept the splines the same uh, relative distance to each other, you would be able to do that. You just might yeah. have. Because when I tried to, like, uh, in the accelerator room that I made, trying to, like, 
make it like the black side, like the black and white stripes. It was not having it very well, like it was not liking it. Oh goodness, I have 28 frames. Oh, it's been. Oop. I'm gonna go check out the gas station. I'm going the right way, right? <laughs> I believe so. Uh, I'm not certain though. Man, I suppose no matter what I do in a map this big, we're always going to have uh, loading point errors, which are those glitchy shadows. Yeah. Oh, there's also a big arrow that I put on the ground. if I put some floating arrows in the atmosphere because it's pretty tough to find your way otherwise without yeah. knowing beforehand where you're going oh, I just remember like the stress of having to get this finished by uh, like, what was it, 24? yeah, it was 24th oh, initially When I first set my computer up, it was like like maybe what, 12 o'clock at night, and I was just like, Mom, I gotta finish this piece. I it so much. Yeah, you getting the blue glow yet? Uh, the blue glow, yeah. yeah. Is that the uh, cube map render? Yeah, I believe so. Understand? I think it's right above the sea. Should explain why that's. Or right kind of in that texture. I don't know exactly where it is, but wherever it is, it's somewhere where it's blue all around. Oh, you know what I think this is, actually? I think it's from it? the um, uh, the teleporters inside the portals in the Acceladrome, because the oh, portals yeah. are um, entirely blue. We found that problem like, when you add a... Because I had my like, wheel of power was like, yellow, and I added a teleporter just to turn green. It was Alright. Have you already found your way to the Accelodrome? Yeah, I think I'm in there. I'm already yeah, there. I think I'm in Oh, how about that? It looks like he snagged on something. I've got to figure uh, out I how to I just like get... went head first into a rock. Oh my. Maybe I should just mess with the scale of this map as a whole. How so? Well, right now it's kind of... enormous, needlessly big. I mean, I could understand if there was, uh, like, more content inside of it, but right now it seems like it's a little bit too big. Um, maybe bring the well, I think the only, that main big bit is probably the journey, uh, like when you finish the track, but like, there's a bit, maybe it's a little bit, I think. Yeah, maybe. Like, the bit when you reach, like, really supposed to the Exodrome, I think is a bit less, I suppose. He died three times in a row to the exact same one. It takes time to figure out how to drive at really low drag speeds because you're used to just holding boost and then uh, course correcting at the last minute. But uh, when you're working with drag speeds this low, it takes a while for you to build up enough resistance to actually stop to change directions. Yeah. And there's nothing that explicitly tells you how to do that. You just kind of have to figure it out. I don't think really like press shift like the next five minutes. It's just killed me every time. Yeah. Because I'm bad at driving. Well, what you gotta do is you gotta tap uh, the brake button, and then you'll build up enough resist to actually be able to turn instead of being shot forward.
And if you know what you're doing, once you get up to speed, you don't have to do anything. It's like uh, cruise control. Yeah. Is you hard? I think I'm at like uh, the very narrow like uh, rock trail. That's where I'm at. Uh, where I am. Now. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's something that I just added because uh, I, I didn't like the scale of the um, the rock trail how it was. Yeah, kind of makes it a little easier to uh, follow if like you know Kadeem's going a little bit ahead. Yeah. I think we should have like some more natural assets to use, like actual trees maybe, instead of having to make them apart because I think it would be a little better. Well, I mean, this is out in the middle of a desert, so we wouldn't be using trees anyway. Or like, you know, like natural kind of thing. Like more, uh, Other than like some rocks. Shade? Yeah, I suppose. I also added a shelf right at the end of the Whew. right at the end of the path. I am in the extended room. Nice. Where about you? Quite a distance ahead of me. Wait. Uh, there. Ah, there we go. That's nice. All right. Looks like I got the entrance down. Yeah, I like the I like the quite a lot. Drive up could still okay. do some fine tuning. I'm not sure it needs to be as big as it as it is. Oh, here's one other thing I added. Follow me. Okay. Need to jump a little bit in order to get into it. Looks like you figured it out. But yeah, it took me a while. Um, oh, I like this that. actually, this works a lot better when it's small because the first model I had was about three or four times oh, the size. You gotta wait for it to open a little bit. I'm not sure what else I could put in here as far as, I don't know, maybe extend the, um... Inside this thing. Yeah, they're kind of, uh, uh more minimalist, so... I, especially when you don't need any of the equipment, like, what do you, yeah. what do, you do with all this space? Mm. You could, we could put some, like, ramps on the side, because I remember in, like, what, uh, breaking point they had the ramps, like, uh, when they introduced the ramps to me. Yeah, I'll probably have to tool around with that a little bit to try and figure out what I want what I want to do with this area. I'm gonna go back into the exhibit. Oh, I like the museum by the way, the museum is nice. Yeah. I'm gonna go back into the exam group.
we gonna go to the uh, uh wait no, I was gonna say we go to the storm room first, but otherwise we can be doing it. Let's see, what else did I add? Aside from redoing the entrance and adding the museum. Not the museum. I think I also maybe realigned some splines around the center that were kind of a little bit off. Mm. I think I'm gonna move. Uh, uh, by the way, how did you get the like the wheel of power to like uh, rotate and then stop when the animation begins? A couple of like, different, honestly, a couple yeah, of different like, layers I... of uh, of animation actually. That took me the longest to figure out. Uh, the day before, or a couple of days before, I was like, okay, now I've actually got to animate this. What am I gonna do? Um, and yeah. so I was messing around in uh, one of my um, uh, one of my test save files. Yeah. And what I ended up doing was, um, as soon as the um, the trigger is not being uh, pressed anymore, uh, it just goes back to its default animation. So the spinning, the kind of slow spinning that you see now, is its yeah. um, is its ambient animation, um, and wow. it just does that naturally, um, just no matter where it is. Uh, but it's on a 17 second delay, uh, which means. Cool that uh, there's 17 seconds of delay before it starts, but once it starts, it can stop on a dime, which is what allows it to start spinning immediately when a trigger is pressed. Um, so what I ended up doing is uh, I animate each wheel to turn to a certain position, so um, it's it's in a certain shape as soon as it finishes. Of course, that, that's, I mean, there's no guarantee for what it actually, um, what direction it's facing. Uh, when it stops, which is why sometimes you have to go through some of the wheel parts in order to get into the realm. Um, but as soon as the trigger is not being pressed anymore, um, the pieces rotate um, like uh, directly um, in the opposite direction. So it goes back to its normal, um, you know, wheel-like shape, and then it just keeps rotating as soon as that's done. Which is why it's on a 17-second delay, is because the opening animation takes. Just like exactly seventeen seconds to complete. Well, because when I when I tried mine, uh, I just grouped it and rotated it, and it just did not work at all. Yeah, it took a while to figure out how to get it to work right. Um, and if the animation system wasn't designed like it was, I might not have been able to do it. I might have had to use like duplicate um, objects and yeah, then swap we... them out every time um, you open a realm. But but fortunately, that would have been very complicated. No, you, you just make two objects. Not super complicated, just kind of tedious. Especially yeah, when you wanna, especially when you wanna um, duplicate it into another headquarters. Mm. So, which one do we want to do first, swamp or storm? Mm. You just want to switch up a little bit. All right, let's do it. Uh, wait for me. We got to make sure it's synced. Yeah. I'll be surprised if I make it through this without dying. The way like I've got my crab crab position. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Not off to a great start. Yeah. Alright. Um yeah. Just now. Alright. Right. And I'm gonna try filming this from inside the cockpit. I love how the wheel animations turned out because they're all staggered. That doesn't look beautiful. Hey look, and it was facing the right direction too. Nice. Oh, 
All right. I'm on the runway. I've always wanted to play this in virtual reality because you know it supports both the uh, Rift and the and the Vive. Oh god, I think I get sick. Well, that's that all. Be just, that all just depends on uh, how you've got it set up. As long as you're playing it consistently over um, over 90 frames per second and 90 hertz, then I don't think you should have any issues. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna try and find both hyperpods in here. It's well, gonna be a little bit tricky. I don't know remember. which route I wanna take. Yeah, I don't know exactly which routes they're on. Honestly, thank goodness for like the uh, support for like uh, what's it, the backgrounds because having to make the backgrounds like infinitely be so long. Oh yeah. I, that that's that was the worst part about uh, making these maps before is that it would just cut out before you could see the backgrounds. But now that it just fades to the backgrounds, it just makes maps look so much nicer. Especially the swamp. I don't think yeah. the swamp of this level, in my in my personal opinion, this mm -hmm. is the best one on the workshop. Um, I don't think something like this would have been possible before background support. Because just to get the feeling of scale that. You need. Yeah. Where these tracks split, kind of, kind of a little bit weird. I think it was always a challenge uh, with me early on playing maps to not just hold boost the whole way through because I was trying to go as fast as I could on every single part and so I ended up not really oh hey here's one of the hyperpod parts that's all right now this is a little bit tricky I think I should also add maybe some arrows to show people how to how to use it but if you know what you're doing all you got to do is just back right into it Uh, not quite. <laughs> I also probably should not have used a vine because only the top of it is flat. So, really tough to get in right. Tough, but possible. Alright, we're moving. Nice. Kind of shaky, but that's all right. Well, it turned out great. Is it working for you too? Yeah, it looks good. It's oh shaky, yeah. I also yes. um I edited the end of it so instead of just um letting down the ramp that keeps you in, it actually sets you down like it does in the film. Too bad that animations don't work in replays because this would look great in a replay. Alright. Yeah, that's. I like it. Alright. I'm going to find one of the tracks from the beginning and then follow it back so that we can use the drill hyperpod because that's the one I've used the least frequently because the first path always gets you to um, uh, to Kurt's hyperpod, the caterpillar yeah. hyperpod so that's always the one I take for whatever reason just feel like, eh, I don't feel like stay on the, on the loop so I just split off Same, you're I think we turn around now and head back. Or actually, I think I could just find my way to the uh, the 
Oh, no, the cockpit is... Oh, I see. Interesting. The way these flight controls are laid out. Okay, looks like... This should be near the beginning. but I'm heading in the right direction. Oh man, the recording is, uh, is chopping up. Yeah, I think this, uh, I think this track is uh, a little bit too heavy for OBS. There's some parts where it comes in smooth and then it just stops at others. Mm. But I mean that's that's pretty much constant. Last time I um, went in and tried to record some of the swamp realm, it happened too. But at least I'm getting a little bit. I reset the process priority, and that seems to have improved it somewhat. I, I went right back to the beginning. It's going to be a little bit tough to figure out a way to um, to map the different headquarters so that when you finish a realm, you go back to your headquarter of uh, choice. Mm. I think I know how to do it, but maybe like. I think uh, I've just got to use different triggers, different event triggers, and different portals for every um. Oh no, don't tell me I found the same one again. I found my way back down the exact same path. That's just the one where he's I skipped, uh, I think, two or three levels, and then it was the second um, path on that road. Wow. Oh well, I can just find it from the beginning now. Is it still open? It's still open. For how much longer, though? I think Storm, we should be able to watch close, because I feel like that's pretty cool when you see a realm close. Yeah. Whoa, what happened? Oh, I think I used... Are you, are you going through the realm again? Yeah, I'm on the um, runway. For some reason, like some of the splines, like the line, I think, is a. Uh, like, you can just go straight through it sometimes, and it's kind of scary. That's probably the collision. There's a couple Maybe of lines that just stretch too much. Yeah. Because on a small scale it works, but when you... You know... You make it bigger, it doesn't work as well. Another thing I've got to fix on this realm, I've got to make sure the grass sticks to the um, to the ground. On flat surfaces it works great, but on um, curved ones, like rocks, it just kind of floats in the air for some of it. Well, that never kind of curves to me. <laughs> Might be a little bit tricky, but I think I can figure out a way. I just have to make a, an invisible spine that matches the... Um, 
rotation and then that should be good. I think I'm going to use the second turn off. That should be it because there's only a I, there's only I think three roads. Um, two of them have hyperpods. The other, so I think there's a mm, few more split offs than that. But uh oh. Our recording is doing that thing again. I'm gonna like drive out of the center for a bit because I kind of like finished. Oh. Accident. Oh no. That's alright. You finished before me and now I'm catching up. I would have lied. Yes. Looks like it's working pretty good, capturing all the frames, just so long as I select that as my active window. I'm okay playing with only 60 or 40 frames per second, as long as it's capturing all of it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Swamp is definitely a big hog. Oh, come on! Nice. Don't tell me that was the other one. Gotta be around here somewhere. Ah, found it. Love the way the skybox turned out too. That's nice. I think this. All right, that's part. The track splits, but I think you're supposed to get off it much before. Backtrack and find the very beginning. There we go. Gotta make sure I wind up on the beginning part of this track. I also love the way the environment turned out here. It just looks, looks real nice. What about that? Play the second one through the uh, silencers headquarters. Yes. Should um, put us back through the accelerodrome though. Oh, don't tell me. No. I keep going back that way. And I oughtn't to. All right, let's see. I'm ready to start back. Please tell me this is it. And there's so much of this track that I haven't even explored. Oh, I see. It's that way. All right, I think I found it. And there's the easy way, and there's the way with the, whoa. And there's the way with the hyperpod. Okay, I believe 
somewhere around here. Fall off the track and find. Pod. A little bit of fog. Ah, there it is. Took me a while. I found you. Scoundrel. Oh, jeez. Okay. I think the timing's on this. All right. Well, you get the idea. It works. I've probably got to fix the um, the grip mechanism though, because the timings were way off. It started moving immediately instead of uh, after the normal delay. Um, should be closed now. Okay. Yep, closed. All right. <laughs> Dream hands. New trick discovered. All right, I'll meet you at the silencer's headquarters. for storm. Oh, whoops! Looks like I didn't move them down far enough. The tops are still showing. Wow. Well. Yeah, I think we may have, I may have accidentally triggered that twice. Oh well. Gotta make sure I've got enough acceleration to clear the first part and get onto the ramp. Alright. I'm gonna do this part in uh, dash cam view oh, nice. for specific reasons because the dash cam view here really reminds me of the one um, in the first movie with Kadeem the way it's set up oh yeah mm -hmm. And there's that nice little loop. Get you. Suddenly, fog. Oh. 
Oh, that last one nearly hit me. Always catching me off guard. Hmm. I think the high road takes you on the jump, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Right. Let's work on that. I think the rotating clouds make you feel like you're a lot more alive. The road you what? What did you say? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna take the left road. Oh, at the very end, it's just kind of a surprise. Do you wanna play the um you wanna play the water realm? Oh hell yeah. Like the one I have uh, in my secret stash. This is pretty secret oh. Secret, secret water realm. I'll send you the file over Discord while we're waiting for the realm to close. <laughs> Alright. Now this one's kind of weird because... Uh... Oh, don't tell me the realm's already closed. <sighs> No, it isn't. It isn't. Yeah, I may have set something up uh, in a um, in a weird way because there's always a bug on the um, storm realm where it would spit you out some distance behind the um, actual track. Doesn't matter how many times I I could actually fix it in the editor, but then I'd upload it, and then, then it would be back. Seems to be What? I can't... Yeah. Not having a good time. I'm gonna switch my scheme back. Ah, there we go. What? How'd he get in? Did he guess the password? Alright. Well, I'm gonna switch my scheme back and then I'm gonna send you the file. Pardon me. Okay, levels. There you go. Later. He left. After all the trouble you went to to guess our password. Oh, <laughs> ah, there it goes. See, the portal disappears and the wheel starts to close. And then. One, two, three. And then it just. Rotates again. Ah, like it. I like it, I like it. <laughs>